Hello, everybody. All right. I have three videos that I have, you know, stuck in my mind that I need to get off. So I'm going to be doing like a three part of these hidden gems inside Unreal Engine 5.5. Things that are amazing and they were not announced with enough strength. And that's what we're going to do. So follow me. What if I told you that one of the best secrets kept from you in this 2025 from Real Engine is right there, right there in front of your face? You wouldn't believe it. In fact, you are actually seeing it right now, and you're still not realizing that this is one of the best things that was improved in Real Engine 5.5. Let's unveil what it is. Let's actually click here where it says volumetric clouds. You're going to say, but they are exactly the same as before, but they're really not. Let me tell you why. The actual material was reworked from the ground up. And now it makes sense. It used to be like a lot of mumbo jumbo and like 10,000 properties that made no sense. Now take a look at this. Here it is. Now we have, you know, cloud layout, cloud shape, storm, and multi-scatter. And that's it. It is very contained. It, everything makes sense now. You have like layout by cloud type. For example, let's actually take a look at that, right? Let me move these aside and let's open this up. And as you can see, now you have four different type of clouds. And they are actually referring to different layers of the cloud. You're going to have the stratocumulus, and this is going to be like the more near to the ground, right? So let's start by turning off the zero stratus and the alto stratus. And what you're left with is just with the stratocumulus. And this is going to be that, like the one that is more closest to the earth, right? The, the ones that are lower than any other, right? Then you have, you're going to have like the middle ground that is going to be the stratus. The alto stratus, right? And if you start, you know, picking this up, you can see them being created. And if you want some clouds are very far away, you're going to find out the cirrus um, stratus. And these are going to be like the highest of those three, right? And you can see them right here. To actually see them at the work, we need to actually, you know, go a little bit higher. And let's see if we can actually take a pip. So let's go even a little bit higher up and here we go. All right. Now I think around here is going to be good enough. So let's start with the, um, you can see that the zero stratus are the highest, right? You have the alto status are in the middle and then you have the stratocumulus are the one that are at the bottom with these. Now you're going to be able to actually have like different type of clouds because these gets entangled with these one um where you can have like a different layout for each of those type of clouds or heights of clouds now you can say for example let me actually set these up as it was and you can say well the zero stratus i want them to be a little bit you know uh smaller so you can start let me Turn this one off and this one off so we know what we're talking about. So the zero stratus, you can actually start, you know, changing the actual size of the noise that goes with it. So you can see that now I have an individual control for each and every one of our clouds. Now those are going to stay like that. Now I'm going to turn on my alto, alto stratus. Now they look like this and now I can open up my stratocumulus and now they look like that, right? So this is amazing. You have now tons of more controls on the different, you know, heights of clouds. Now, there are a couple of other things that are pretty interesting here. Like you are going to have your wind controls if you want your clouds to move a little bit faster. The only thing that you need to do is you have a velocity on X, a velocity on Y, and velocity on Z. And that's it. It's a lot easier than it used to be. All right. Another thing is that you can move around things like the position, right, of all your clouds. And this is very amazing because, you know, depending on how your sun is, you don't want the sun to be behind one of those clouds. Well, you move them, you know, around until they are on a good position again. Okay, so there are other things that are very, very interesting. For example, here in cloud shape, you're going to find out the 
big, big uh, secret, and that is use noise three. So what is this? Well, this is like a more complex noise that you can use to make your clouds look a little bit better. So I'm going back down here so you can actually see the actual difference. One of the things with these clouds is that they are a little bit soft, mostly on the actual edge. Well, these use noise three. Once you turn it on, you can see that it will break out that shape a little bit more. So they look a little bit more realistic. Um, let me show you. This is with the noise three. This is without the noise three, right? So what you're going to get is like a more detail. It doesn't get to the point where you can finally say that they are looking pretty realistic, but they look a little bit better. That's what I'm going to say. Um, not only that, you have an actual, let me go up here, um, uh, global density. And I believe if you take these up, they will start looking a little bit better because they're going to be catching more of the lights and they're going to be having like a little bit of a shadow below them. And just by, you know, moving these attached to the right, the uh, cloud global density, you can start seeing them and they look a little bit better. And this noise three, um, helps a lot in the actual detail that you get also, not only on the actual border, but, you know, inside the actual cloud. And I think that now, more than ever, they are looking much better. They are still crappy and noisy, uh, to tell you the truth, but there are still, you know, the best real-time um, solution that we have for clouds inside Unreal Engine. So I'm not saying that they are now ready for production in terms of, you know, offline type of rendering. You're going to be relying either with your HDRIs or with maybe like a BDB, if you can make it run with an heterogeneous volume um, fast enough. But, you know, this is looking much, much better. The nice thing really is not how realistic they look, is that you now have much more control um, artistically with your clouds, with actual parameters that makes a little bit more sense. So one last thing is, let me actually close this, close this, is that now we have the Nimbus Stratus, and those are storm clouds, all right? These are separate from the other three, and let me show you why. For them to actually appear, you need to go to the storm section, and here you're going to be able to turn them on and off, really. That is what you're going to be doing. So if you, you know, make them grow, now you can have like very um, overcast type of cloud situation here. And let me actually turn them all on. And that's it. Now you have like very, very um, low ceiling with a very dense uh, sheet of cloud on top of your head. Now, these things have another secret that I'm going to unveil, uh, unveil for you. Uh, for that, I'm going to actually lower the amount of my directional light. I'm going to set these up on one, something like that, maybe two. And you're going to see that these have lightings and you're going to spend a lot of time, you know, trying to find out how to make them work. I'm going to let you know right now how that is work. So you need to go to your storm lighting mask and someone actually set this up to be 10. I don't know why, because you need to take it down a lot for the actual lighting to start to be noticeable. And that's it. Now you can see that at a distance, you're going to have, you know, those lightings starting to come on, right? Um, in fact, let me turn this up maybe even more. All right, that's it. Now you can see those lighting happening on your clouds. So you can create a little bit of a stormy effect with these new clouds from Real Engine 5.5. This is amazing. To tell you the truth, it, there are not, a, you know, um, by any means, a silver bullet to fix your clouds situation inside Unreal Engine, but they are looking better and better. So I bet that if you spend a little bit of time checking out all of these very well nomenclated and with name scheme that makes sense, right? And, you know, with categories and everything, I'm sure that you're going to discover a way of making them look pretty amazing, all right? So that's it. This was a short video. This, to me, is one of those low-key things that 
were announced, not with, you know, enough strength. And I'm bringing it to you right now. So you can actually take um, advantage of these new controls. So that's it for today's and um, see you on the next one. Love you all. Bye-bye.